All right, it is 9.55. I'm going to try my best to talk because I had my wisdom teeth yesterday removed. And I had one trade with AABB. I really don't like my last sell because it was just a bunch of level 2 changing. But it was a good attempt for what it was. And that's just something I can do to get better. It wasn't necessarily the stock. This was a break past VWAP setup. And I like how... Even though this thing is a beaten up stock, it does have a lot more volume than it normally has. So it could mean that it could actually try to uptrend or do something over a longer period of time. And I did have an interest at 949 right here at 57. I was in 8,000 shares because it looks like it was going to break above VWAP. And there was also a big bidder at 569, I believe, in 565. So that gave me confidence to at least know that if it doesn't work out, I might be able to... Um, you know see ahead of time once it looks like it's going to take out those big bidders but otherwise those big bidders are probably going to support and move towards the upside especially after it had a nice morning spike and then it comes back under vweb and now it's trying to get above it again i did sell in pieces i don't mind these two sales but this last one i could have done a lot better at 951 i did sell some when it started the uptrend just a little 2000 shares at 578 that was right here and then I did sell at 9.52 the next minutes, 2,000 shares at 5.76, which was right here. And then I sold the last piece at 9.54, which I don't like. It was at 5.77. I tried to consider selling the rest of my um, position, especially after I had this downtrend under the trend line as well as VWAP. And then it started to come back in the level two was shifting around this could have been something where i could have canceled my order because it just seems like the level two was going to change to make an uptrend more i could have easily have sold into the 58s and this is probably maybe just as good as my previous trade in terms of trading because even though i did allow it to break past the trend line and everything i didn't necessarily sell as well as i could have i could have been selling into 58s very easily with um just you know still half of my position left but i think that was a good learning lesson and this thing can also try to break the day high at 592 i probably could have taken that into consideration as well and maybe have been a, a bit more greedy but yeah i'll make an update as to what this one does ultimately this one was interesting it actually did break the day high this one's cool cbsi had a nice morning spike and downtrended towards vwap I was interested in it, but it just started looking all weird. The volume kind of dried up, but it did make a move from the 43s to the 45s. It came back under. I didn't see any of this actually, but this thing actually caught itself again. It had more volume come in and it went, oh, wow, that's, yeah, that went a lot higher. I wanted to bought a lot of shares of this. I think I had like, maybe I had an attempted order. No, I didn't. Not with this one. I think it was just going to be 3,000 shares or something small like that because it does move a lot. And I was considering, worst case scenario, I'm selling my position at the day low. That's something I've been trying to do is move my risk level up higher once it's been longer um, since the market opened. Because it's just much harder for it to just break the day low and start panicking. And that's pretty much about it. For right now, I did have an interest in I and D, I believe. No, it was actually G E G I. I did have an interest to buy twenty five thousand shares at this nice sub uh, penny level at nine thirty four, but then I got out. Something about it was just kind of weird. It did make a move to ninety three, but it's you know it just doesn't have the volume it did before. But it did work out in theory. I want to keep seeing what CVSI does as well as AABB, and I will make an update later. All right, it is 8.51 p.m., and I am here to call it off. Overall, I'm going to be up on a day. Five bucks and 60 cents, and that was one trade with AABB, and I feel like I could have been a lot more profitable if I were to have traded it better, at least selling the last piece of AABB, which was in the subtrend. And one thing to take into consideration, I also missed out on this setup. It was like a bull flag, like a really big bull flag. If I uh, get rid of extended hours, you can kind of see the bull flag playing off where it's making uh, higher lows right here. And then this level is kind of starting to get congested back and forth. And it just does this thing right here. And I was watching it here 
when it was looking like it was going to break under it. And it wasn't looking that nice and the volume was gone. But then the volume came back and I just wasn't prepared for that. So I'm going to knock off some points for not being a part of this setup. Because I could have easily have traded this one and I had a chance in theory to buy it at 58.7. And it did make a move towards the 62 level. And over a longer period of time it got as high as 65. So this was a setup I did miss out on. But that was pretty much about it. There wasn't anything um, else that I was looking at other than DPLS because it looked like it was going to ideally try to do like a multi-day breakout. As you can see right here, I had this thing where I had these two green days and then a little bit of a consolidation point right here and then it broke past it and it ran for a few more days. That's something that I'm looking at right here. I will be interested in DPLS Friday to see if it can try to maybe break above this uh, this high of 434 or maybe even have a gap up already at that breakout point and that can cause a morning spike it did try it got to uh, 435 but it did sell off and it started to get later in the day so I didn't think it was a good point to consider a dip buy around the VWAP level anymore but it is going to be something that I'll be watching and yeah that's that's pretty much about it there wasn't anything else that I was too interested in CVS I did uptrend but this one's just kind of weird because it kind of has a lot of volume and then it has no volume it's not a little bit of both it's one or the other that's all for today I could have been a part of AABB the bull flag setup for sure could have sold better here and I will be looking at DPLS tomorrow